Hello and welcome. Today we're going to cover the InfiniTV software installation and Windows Media Center setup. Before we get started, please make sure your InfiniTV 4 PCIe or USB is installed and set up prior to installing the software. Step 1. Installing the InfiniTV software package. Once your PC is booted up, we'll go ahead and open a web browser. Go up to the address box and we're going to type in www.seatoncorp.com. This will take you to the company website. Now go ahead and mouse over the support tab and go down and click on installation and downloads. The InfiniTV installer is the first item. Go ahead and click download and click run. And the Seton Infinity TV installer wizard will open up. We're going to go click next to move on. Here you'll see some different options, including the network tuner wizard. This option is not installed by default. We consider this to be an advanced software option and do not include it in this video. Go ahead and click next to move on. And click install to start the installation. This process can take some time, so we're going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll be right back. Completed the InfiniTV setup wizard. Go ahead and click finish and we're going to move, move on to step two, Windows Media Center first time setup. We're going to go ahead and open Windows Media Center. And the first thing we're going to do is scroll down to the Extras Gallery and we're going to look for the Digital Cable Advisor tool, which looks like a coax connection. If this option is not in your Extras area, please submit a help ticket. Welcome to Digital Cable Advisor. This tool will analyze your system to determine if you're capable of handling digital cable. Go ahead and click Next. We're going to go ahead and say I agree to the Terms of Service. Click Next. We're going to go ahead and start the test by clicking the Start Test button. This is a generally pretty quick process as you can see here in the video. Go ahead and click Next to move on. It looks like it needs to make a few changes, so I'm going to go ahead and click Update System Settings. Congratulations, you passed Digital Cable Advisor. Go ahead and click Done. All right, now we're going to move back out to the main menu. And we're going to move up to the TV section. And all the way to the right to the live TV setup. We'll give the setup a minute here to get running. The first screen is going to be a region, which is the United States. Go ahead and select Yes. Use this region to configure TV services. And then click Next. Go ahead and enter your zip code. We're at 98033 here in Kirkland, Washington. Click Next. Program Guide Terms of Services. I agree. Click Next. Microsoft Play Ready. Go ahead and click I agree. And Next. This is going to download and install Microsoft Play Ready, which is Microsoft DRM software. If for any reason you have trouble with the installation or update of Play Ready, please submit a help ticket and one of our support engineers will help you troubleshoot the problem. As you can see, this is generally a fairly quick process. Now it's going to download the TV setup data. Once this process is complete, it's going to scan for TV tuners and a TV signal. And success, it found all four digital cable card tuners. So we're going to go ahead and select Yes, Configure TV with these results. Click Next. Activate support for digital cable. Go ahead and click Next. You'll notice that there's a product key pre-entered in. Go ahead and let the process run. And now we're going to go ahead and select Yes, click Next. Now 
All right, to activate your cable card, you need to call your cable provider. So we'll go ahead and click Next. As you can scroll through the list here, you'll see tuners one through four and some cable, cable card information. We actually provide an easy to see diagnostic tool that gives you all this information, which we'll show you here in a moment. Now we're gonna move back out to the website and we're gonna go back up to the support tab. Go down and click on cable card activation. Here is all the major cable providers in the country, Comcast, Cox, RCN, Time Warner, and Verizon. If your cable provider is not listed here, you will need to call their local office. These 1-800 numbers are designed for cable card activation only. If you have any problems, please submit a help ticket or call our 1-800 number. Now we're going to go ahead and move out to the desktop. And we're going to open the diagnostic tool. Once it finds the Infinity TV, you'll notice the firmware and hardware versions are listed in there. Now we're going to move up to the cable card tab. And number one is the cable card is inserted. Valid cable card. OOB locked. Receiving OOB messages. And number five here is the information to give your cable provider. You'll need the cable card ID, the host ID, the data ID, and the serial number. Number six shows that it's validated. Number seven is it's received a head in connection. And number eight, you're getting a channel list. Number 9 and 10 do not need to be check marks. The hourglass is an OK symbol to see. Now we're going to go ahead and close this and move back into Windows Media Center. Now we're going to go click Next. Select your TV signal provider. And then click Next. Click Next to confirm this is correct. It's going to update play already. Uh, this can take some time, so we're going to pause the video. And we're back. And it's going to download the TV program guide data. And success, TV signal setup finished. Go ahead and click finish to exit. Now we're going to move over to TV and guide. We're going to pick a station and we're going to check to see if live TV is working. Please note that this sometimes can take a minute or two the first time you ever tune a TV station. And success! Proprietary because if you're scanning all your documents into something that's just not very good or, or it's an it's a application and and congratulations, you've successfully set up the Infinity TV4. If you've run into any problems during the setup process, please go to the Seton website at www.setoncorp.com, move to the support section, and submit a help ticket. One of our support engineers will get back to you and help you get set up. We hope you enjoy the Infinity TV, and have a wonderful day.